We just got out of bed and noticed that there's a visitor. Look how cute he is. I wish I could show you without the screen, but that little blur. He's a bison next to the lake. You want relaxing. It's a bison in bed. Phil said he can see it from the bed. I just got out of the shower. I'm gonna miss you, Yellowstone. I wish the camera really caught how close this bison is. Like, we were packing and made a sound and he looked up. That's how close this bison is. 10 out of 10. The best part of waking up is bison on your lawn. This is the mud volcano area. One interesting thing about Mud Volcano is they're enforcing one way on the boardwalks, and none of the other boardwalks are enforcing the one way. Another interesting thing is how many people are complaining about the smell? It's Yellowstone. Did you not look up anything about Yellowstone before you came here? We have reached the namesake, Mud Volcano. I don't know when that happened. That's relatively new. Look at the color of the rock. Dragonmouth Spring. Normally there's more of a roar, but I think there might have been a collapse. There's a bunch of debris that is relatively new. I wonder if it's just going to eat the whole hillside. So there was a ranger up by Dragon's Mouth, and we asked, hey, last time we were here was like eight years ago. Have the, are we crazy? Were there any major changes with that? And she said, yeah, a little bit last winter, but mostly this spring, all of those rocks collapsed into the center of it. So that's a major change. It's the biggest change in the thermal feature I think we've seen so far in the park. Yeah. It used to be very, very dramatic. I mean, it's still lovely now, don't get me wrong, but night and day from what it was. I mean, if it has severe gas, it'll break those rocks down in 20, 30 years. Not if the hillside keeps collapsing. Yeah. Erosion works faster than that. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna head over. There's like a little feature over on the other side of the parking lot. This is Phil's favorite feature. It popped up in the parking lot next to Mud Volcano. And they just put a fence around it. I think it's called parking lot. I don't remember this little guy over here though. Phil, do you remember this one? It's a lovely view of the river. Well, Holy shit. What? 150 from here. Oh boy. I was gonna say, well, I admire your tenacity. I don't think you'll get a reading. Uh, joke's on me. It might be best so, to go into the north for them. Literally, this line goes all the way to Madison Junction. And we're six miles in. From the park entrance. Yeah. And there's no indication that this line is stopping anytime soon to get into the park from the west entrance. Today is Memorial Day, and I am incredibly grateful that we're leaving rather than arriving right now, because in eight years of coming to Yellowstone, I've never seen this happen. And there isn't even a bison jam. There wasn't the very front. No, that wasn't, there were bison off to the side of the road. I mean like a bison jam where like there's bison in the road. This is just, purely cars. I, I cannot fathom this.
we have reached the other side of the west gate. That little part that doesn't have a roof. That's us leaving. Slow down. Yeah, I'm slowing. How there were rumble strips over here. Burp, burp. Are you okay now? Oh, there they are. I think they'd have it further back. Yeah. Goodbye, West Entrance. Thank you. All right, so we did some shopping in West Yellowstone. I went to two different t-shirt shops. I, I stumbled because I went into one and it was one very large shop. Then I went into the other and it was like five shops combined. Um, I got a t-shirt for mom and I got a little dress for her because you know how much she loves those like tie-dye dresses. I figure that'll be nice for her after her surgery. And I got you a sweatshirt and me a t-shirt. And I got a t-shirt that could be for either of us because it was $10. It's one of those things where they were like, for $10 more, you can get any t-shirt that you want from behind me. And I had been eyeing that t-shirt already. So I was an easy sell. <laughs> so you went over to the bookshop. What did you get at the bookshop? I got uh, the yellow, it's called uh, View Into the Earth, I think it's called, by Robert B. Smith. He's Who you'll note was the gentleman that we listened to on the way over. Keep in mind, he's still alive, born in 1930. He's still alive? He's still teaching. Oh, I love him. Yeah, when I Googled him, the first thing that came up was his coursework class, like the page for what you go to when you're doing his Where's coursework. Where's he teaching? Uh, University of Utah. Oh, okay. U of U. U U. But he does uh, guest speakers at like everywhere else. Yeah. Oh, that's the gusher. We'd seen that on a video, and I'd never figured out where it was. Is there a right here or further over? I think it's one more up. I yeah. could be wrong, but I think it's one more up. Yeah, so he's... Yeah, right. I got his book, and I paged through it, and like, really opened it. Was deeply. it signed? No. I was actually, Janet's? I did not look to see if they were signed, honestly. That bookshop's dangerous. Granted, I think I only spent, like, 60 I want to say. I spent about that. Yeah. Books are expensive. But, I mean, when We're you buy local... You're paying West Yellowstone. You're paying West Yellowstone and you're buying local. So, I, uh... Yeah. So, it was nice. Was well, it as cute as it normally is in that shop? Uh, it was kind of crowded. Oh. Okay. Did I miss it? No, it's right here. Okay. I'll flip you around. Do you see where it says enter? That's park where we go. Down. Uh, we... You park in the back, remember? Ooh, I hope there's parking. This is literally the best barbecue we've ever had in our wow, life. they are swamped. Of course they're gonna be swamped. It's Memorial Day weekend. There was parking behind the building last time. That's where we parked. Yeah, we can just park next to the Saturn. Do you wanna eat outside or do you wanna eat inside? Um, whichever they have space. <laughs> Fair, all right. Well, we'll re regroup once we have our food. Oh. We're just gonna grab some. So we got bread. This is a half rack of ribs, a pint of mac and cheese, and a pound of brisket. I think we got too much food for lunch. Yeah, we could have gone with a half. Half pound would have been just fine. But I'm excited to eat. All right, we just finished lunch at Firehole Barbecue. <sighs> Let me get out the receipt. Is that Kevin? Well, I want... We got drinks. Kevin never get drinks. Kevin doesn't get drinks. We got a half rack of ribs, that was 15. We got a pound of brisket, which was 25, 50. Two people don't need a pound. Half get pound. a half pound. We're been great. And then we got the pint of mac and cheese. Get the smaller one. If you're two people. Yeah, if you're, t we asked them what they recommended and they were like, oh, the little one doesn't even fill me up. And I'm like, well, it was a struggle to finish that. It was delicious. I mean, we probably would have had an easier time if we didn't have to keep a half pound of brisket too. Well, yeah. So, and we got each two fountain drinks. Our total with tip was sixty-three ninety-nine for lunch. Yeah, which I didn't is, mean to tip quite so much. But. Yeah, but so overall, worth sixty-three ninety-nine for a lunch. Yeah, every time. It's the best barbecue I've ever eaten. Yeah. And the last time we went there was in 2019 for Memorial Day weekend, and we discovered it. It's it's funny because that was building that 2019? was 2019. Yeah, it's like it was 
2017. No, that was the last time we were here. It was 2019. We ate it at a KFC when I was 20. Yeah, we ate it at, at the KFC twice. It's the same building. It got repurposed into the barbecue place. And you walk up there. You They don't do like a two meat plate. They Everything's by the pound. They used to have like a meal deal. Like we'd get like a pick a meat, pick a meat. But maybe they did, maybe they didn't. I also don't I remember. I think they did. Because I, you pick two meats, I pick two meats. I think we just did like a quarter pound of each or a half pound each. I don't remember being this full last time, so I don't think we ordered as much. Well, they didn't have the mac and cheese last time. Yeah, they were sold out of mac and cheese last time because we went for dinner last time. This time we went for lunch. And seriously, Firehole Barbecue, if you're anywhere in Yellowstone, you gotta come out and get it. If, you're, if you find yourself in West Yellowstone, yes. It's seriously like, Yes, the bread costs 30 cents extra, but it's worth it if you're I getting mean, the brisket. Honestly, for a business that survived the pandemic, the a prices, locally owned business, too. Locally owned business in a tourist town, charge me 30 cents for bread, I'm okay. Yes, you're struggling. If you charge me a dollar, that would have been fine, too. I get it. You guys are, I mean, it's $65, but you're, you know. I mean, it was hard for us to find a table. It's that popular, and rightfully so. But seriously, that place is just absolutely incredible. So we are on our way to Phillipsburg. If you've watched previous travel vlogs of ours, um, the last time we mentioned Phillipsburg was when we went to the National Bison Range and hit Phillipsburg on the way back. It takes us about 40 minutes longer to get home by going by way of Phillipsburg, but we get to drive through Anaconda. We get to drive through these bunch of cute little towns with lakes. And I get to pick up some sapphire gravel. We're not gonna do it there. Just because we don't really have time, we're gonna get there around 3.30-ish. Four-ish, yeah. And, and I mean, there'd be enough time, but you have to get home afterwards. Yeah, and we work tomorrow. And we have to unpack tonight. So, on to Phillipsburg. Can we to the Pintler? Welcome to Anaconda, Montana. Gateway to the Pintler, whatever that is. What is the Pintler? It just said on the sign. It said Anaconda, Gateway to the Pintler. Oh, the Pintler Scenic Memorial Highway. Uh, you guys remember how pretty it is? Very pretty. Did they open McDonald's last time we came through? Yeah. This trip not sponsored by McDonald's. You want a McDonald's? <laughs> no, I'm... I couldn't eat right now if I tried. I am stuffed, aren't you? Anaconda is just this weird little town in the middle of nowhere that sprung up as a mining community. And you go from 70 what? down to 25. I wonder know who named it and why. That's what I want. Maybe they saw a big snake. Did the original settlers know what big an anaconda was? I don't know. I'd say most of these houses are from like the 50s, I had to guess. We have made it to Montana Gems. We can't do our standard thing where we get two from here and two from the one across the street because the one across the street's already closed, which is weird. You'd think that, oh, you know why they're closed? Because this is opening weekend for the actual mine. Do you think they're at the mine? I bet they're at the mine. Okay. Continue on I-90 West for 178 miles. Yep, we're still driving. It's, uh... 5.42, how are you feeling? I'm feeling great. I've only been driving for like an hour and a half. That's good. So we just stopped in Missoula for a gas and a potty break. Yes. We tried to go to McDonald's. Yes. Because I was going to get an ice cream cone because my lips are like ridiculously chapped. But their lobby's closed, so they lost out on a 99 cent sale. Yes. Which I'm sure they're very devastated, devastated. about. The business will never recover. So according to the GPS, if we don't stop again, which we technically don't have to, we will get home at about 8.30. But it's hard to not stop in St. Regis. We'll see how we're feeling when we get through, though. Yeah. Well, we're back. Almost. 
So where are we? Where are we, Haley? Post Falls. The worst place ever. It's we, just, it's, it goes on for forever. We call it the land that God forgot. It has the worst weather. It will be beautiful and sunny at on our house. Both sides. On our house, at our house and at Haley's work. But in Post Falls, it's pouring but pitch black and it's so windy windy always windy it's always windy here it's the very end of the prairie but anyways we're almost out of there and you know what that means what does that mean that mean we're almost in washington almost best day in the union debatable it's a great one but I don't know if I'd say best. What's the best to you? I don't know. I really like best. Top 50, go. I would need to do some research. All right, our oh. fourth state of the day, our fourth and final for today. Washington. Oh, welcome to Washington. 